Hello everyone, Becca here. I want to make the tutorial of the Chiba paint sticks. Um, you know I'm a rookie, so I'm just going to be experimenting with you in the video. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put gesso over the page. I put this tape, like painting the house tape, because this... Um, have like the line to rip it off the paper so I intend to, to cut it out so I just put the tape and that way I'm not gonna lose the page later so I'm gonna put some gesso here okay now the paper is already gessoed I will talk to you a little bit about the pen sticks and then I'm gonna go fast forward with the whole process of the page so these are pretty fun to use this is oil paint but they are in a stick so when they came they came with a cover like a plastic cover it's kind of uh, you see like a little you see and they cover the whole thingy the the whole crayon and you need to peel this off and you need to be very careful because you can put out the whole point if you do it too too hard like I did with this one can you see I put out the whole thing so you need to do it very carefully like that some people use like a napkin to put it out but I, I feel like I have more control with my nails it get messy but come on messy is fun right so you do that and then after you use it and after a couple of days that after you use it that is it is gonna make by itself the same like cover so these things are gonna you can gonna use it forever because they make by itself the little cover so when what you're gonna use it again you need to rip it out again and then it's gonna seal again by itself so it's not gonna be damaged or anything if you don't use it for a long time so this is a cool thing about this now this is very very creamy and I cannot tell you it's like a crayon because it's more creamy than a crayon so this is oil pen so you can move it with your finger like that pretty easily and you need to wait almost 24 hours until they get dry so that's the only thing is like not cool about it because you're not gonna start it and finish in the same time in the same moment some people use like mud push and cover over it and that way you can go ahead and work faster on it so I started using this one yesterday. Let me see if I can use it. Yeah, it's not uh, dry yet, so I can use it. And like this is paint, you see, it get mixed it. Uh, you can mix the colors. You can mix the colors. And I love about this is the colors are so vibrant and so beautiful. I'm gonna put this one here. Make sure you have your fingers clean because remember they mix pretty well. Look at these colors. These colors are gorgeous. see how easy is this to move around very cool very easy so I want to show you now how you can mix the colors between them so let's use a little bit of red here and let's use yellow so we know we are gonna make orange so but I want to show you that you can mix it very easily with your finger and they mix pretty well you see is it like a little like like creamy okay so it's very fun to use I never try it in non gesso pages let's try it and shake 
not yet so so try to use it here and check what happened yeah you can see we can mix it the same way the only difference I think is with the gesso page it most easily and don't stay in the page you see you can see the piece of yellow where I put it first and the piece of red where I put it first it mix well but doesn't move around the page as easy like in the gesso that you cannot see at all where you put the first paint so now now on I'm gonna be in fast forward I'm gonna do first the background then I'm gonna wait until tomorrow more than 24 hours and then I'm gonna use the stencils I'm gonna try to use different techniques to apply in this page okay so keep watching 